everybody, I'm Delicia and checking in with you guys for your top five Sunday smokes. So a little bit different this time around, um, as you've probably noticed, I have not been releasing a weekly top five. I've decided to kind of be a little more sporadic with those releases, but um, I promise you it's for a good reason. So anyway, here goes. Here's my top five for this Sunday and hopefully they're all cigars that you can easily locate. You should be able to find them in most humidors. None of them are um, limited releases or anything like that. So again, should be fairly easy to locate these beautiful smokes. Starting out with number five, we have the Iroa Pesetas, Iroa Dark. This is from CLE. It's a Honduran puro using Corojo leaf for the wrapper, binder, and filler. Beautiful notes of pepper, chocolate, black cherry, leather with a subtle creamy finish to it. Number four this week goes out to La Paulina El Diario, an oldie but goodie. La Paulina is one of those brands that you just know that they're made well. They have a beautiful flavor profile and just always like a classic favorite. So this one is featuring a Honduran Rosado wrapper, Nicaraguan Corojo and Criollo long fillers, a mixture or a combination rather of pepper, mocha, a little bit of leather and some nuttiness in the background of that one. Number three is going out to Placencia, the Alma Fuerte Natural. This is a beautiful hexagon shape. It's one of those that's eye-catching. It does have a heftier price tag, but it's a nice treat every so often. The Placencias have been around for so long. They've been growing tobacco for many other people. And then of course, um, in recent years, launched this beautiful Alma series. So again, this one being the natural, still in that beautiful hexagon. It does come in some different Vitolas. But this particular one is a Nicaraguan puro. Beautiful notes of cedar, almond, a little bit of spice. There's some vanilla sweetness and again, a creamy smoke. It's a nice medium body, so it's not going to be overpowering in any way. It's a nice middle of the day. You could do it with coffee. You could have it by itself. It's just a really nice, agreeable cigar. Number two is also an oldie but goodie. It's the Perdomo 20th anniversary. Perdomo was a brand I used to smoke back in the day. Um, just still a nice kind of a classic uh, trusted brand that you know is made well and just has a lot to offer. So the Perdomo 20th anniversary Maduro, this one is featuring nice Cuban seed Maduro wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. You get those nice semi-sweet chocolate notes, dark roast coffee, a little bit of pepper, slightly woodsy in the background. Just again, a nice balanced, not too powerful, but still gonna kind of deliver a nice medium to full bodied type of uh, flavor profile and smoking experience. And number one this week is going out to my good friends over at Protocol. This was a newer release, the third, in, if I'm not mistaken, the third in their Lawman portfolio, which is a really cool series, kind of a tribute back to the men and women of law enforcement. This one is the Bass Reeves in the natural. So Bass Reeves was the first black deputy U.S. Marshal, apparently, in history. Um, also the inspiration for Lone Ranger, so their box and their... Their um, overall look is really cool. They always do such a great job, again, with their box designs and everything behind the bands, all the little hidden you know, Easter eggs on some of the other boxes that they have. It's always fun to kind of get into the minds of protocol. Um, they're, they make some really good cigars. They're blended with passion and they always deliver a really nice um, balanced smoke for, for whichever of their cigars in their portfolio you may choose. But this one happens to be a newer release, as I mentioned, so you should be able to find these. Um, practically every brick and mortar should have these guys. So this one's featuring a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler, nice soft leather notes, rich, nutty, kind of a walnut-like flavor in the background, woodsy with a little bit of a dark chocolate notation, but just really nice. Again, um, the Bass Reeves also comes in the natural and a Maduro, just like the others in the Lawman series. So again, you had the Elliot Ness, which was prior to this one, and then you had the, the Sir Robert Peel. So again, great lineup in the protocol portfolio they have so many and hopefully you've had a chance to try out at least one or two of their cigars if you haven't definitely recommended but again all five of the cigars this time should be easy to locate in a number of brick and mortar humidors don't forget to support your local brick and mortars with your cigars that you buy so thanks so much for tuning in i hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your sunday and i can't wait to see you guys soon cheers